So in this video, we're going to sketch y equals 3x plus 2 over x minus 9, and y equals minus 29 56 x, take away 93 over 56, on the same axes, identifying any points of intersection. So you can probably guess I came up with these numbers myself. Well, I have done for all these, uh, all these videos, but um, I kind of uh, wanted to try and make some nice numbers uh, come later on in the algebra. So uh, we're just starting off with some nasty numbers. Um, so first thing to do, um, find where they intersect, okay? So we're going to put 3x plus 2 over x minus 9 equal to minus 29 over 56x, take away 93 over 56. Okay, so this is a pretty horrific thing to want to be able to then expand brackets is what's going to happen next. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to multiply through by um, minus 56, okay? So um, before I multiply both sides by x minus 9, I'm going to multiply through by minus 56. So what I'm going to get is I'm going to have the minus, and the 56 is going to multiply with the 3 and the 2. So uh, 3 lots of 56 is 168. So minus 168x, and then 2 lots of 56 is 112. So plus 112 over the x minus 9 is equal to 29x plus 93. Okay, so that makes it a little bit nicer to work with. What I'm also going to do um, is I'm going to bring that minus sign into the denominator and write that as 9 minus x, which is the same as minus x plus 9, uh, but I've just reordered the terms. Okay, right, so now I'm going to multiply both sides by 9 minus x. So 168x plus 112 is equal to 9 minus x. 29x plus 93. Okay. So we've got 9 lots of 29, so 261x, uh, plus 9 lots of 93, so 837. Take away 29x squared, uh, take away 93x. Okay, right, I'm going to have to move everything onto the left hand side. So 29x squared. Right, I've got the 168x there. I'm going to take away 261 and add 93. So that gets me 0x, okay, which is convenient. And then I've got the 112, take away 837, which is take away 725 equals 0. Right, let's divide that by uh, 29, and we get minus 25. So x squared take away 25 is 0. So that means that x is plus or minus 5. So you see, <laughs> I told you there was going to be some nice numbers at the end. So we've got minus 5 something, and 5 something, these are my points of intersection. Okay, so I'm not going to substitute into that one. I'm going to substitute into that one. So um, what have we got? Three lots of uh, minus 5 plus 2 over minus 5, take away 9. So that's 13 over 14. And if I have 5 instead of minus 5, I get minus 17 over 4. So these are my two points of intersection. OK, now for the sketch. So the denominator is 0 when x is 9. The numerator is 0 at minus 2 thirds. That's where it's crossing the x-axis, so minus 2 thirds. And when x is 0, y is minus 2 ninths. So minus 2 ninths. And the horizontal asymptote, divide top and bottom by x, so 3 plus 2 over x over 1 take away 9 over x. So as x tends to infinity in either direction, we're going to get uh, y equals 3 over 1. So y equals 3. Okay, so my curve 
It's going to go that way. Let's bring the minus two ninths up here. Okay, and the rest of the graph is up here. Right, so then my two points, I've got the minus 5, 13, 14. So somewhere around, well, let's say about there. So uh, minus 5, 13 over 14. And 5 minus 17 over 14, that's uh, minus 17 over 4 rather. So it's going to be somewhere down here. So let's, let's put it there. So 5 minus 17 over 4. And so my line goes through those two points. Like that. OK, and so there is my curve and my line and the two points of intersection.